This is CGTN, China Global Television Network. Well, as Biden marks his first 100 days in office, lawmakers in Africa are assessing U.S. policy for the continent and how it will shape engagements between the two. CGTN's Robert Nagila spoke to Hassan Kananje, the director of the Horn International Institute for Strategic Studies, a research and policy think tank in Nairobi. Dr. Hassan Kananje, thank you very much for talking to us. Thanks for having me. Now... As President Biden marks 100 days in office, do we have a clear understanding of his administration's policy towards Africa? I think uh, there are already signs that there is a shift, a massive shift from uh, uh, the previous administration's policy towards Africa. Uh, the previous administration, uh, it was more transactional. And this has gone back to traditional values-based uh, US foreign policy. Uh, of course, of valuing things such as democracy, such as human rights and military support and conflict resolution, especially on the continent. And what is the current state of US-Africa relations, especially coming on the back of the previous administration? While there are mixed reactions with regard to the previous administration's policy towards Africa, uh, generally it was not as friendly as the previous administration's. And so what we see is increased interest in Africa, characterized by, for instance, uh, the deployment of a special envoy to the Horn of Africa. Uh, during the recent crisis in Tigray region, uh, President Biden sent an envoy, uh, Chris Coons, who's a senator, to, uh, to the region to, to deliver a message. Uh, there is an, an interest, of course, in climate change, which affects Africa the most. Uh, there is increasing, of course, focus on uh, issues that are going on in Africa, including you know, terrorist attacks, for instance, in Mozambique and Congo. And because of that, uh, Biden has uh, designated those groups as terrorist organizations. So there is a change in policy uh, to, to a certain degree. And finally, what sort of engagement should Africa expect during the Biden presidency? Of course, security is a, is a, is a foreign policy interest for the United States, and especially uh, during these changing times and competition, pretty much, you know, over the soul of Africa right now. Uh, however, uh, the democratic establishment under Biden also values things such as climate change. In fact, is a massive priority for them. So I think we're going to see increased cooperation on climate change. We're going to see, of course, increased cooperation in fighting, fighting COVID-19, uh, not just with Africa, but with the rest of the world. Of, and we're also going to see increased cooperation when it comes to uh, fighting terrorism and violent extremism on the, on the continent. Thank you very much for talking to us. I've been talking to Dr. Hassan Kanenje of the Horn Institute.